Um, <clears throat> we're decently far enough in to the story so far. Um, I don't know how long the game is. So far, I'm nine hours in. All right. King Crab is boiling. Uh, we are John and Sam. Um, John being the bearded guy, Sam being the girl behind us. Um, brief overview. Sam, as far as we know, was found underground one day by John. John has been raising her ever since. We don't really know much of anything about Sam. John is a relatively silent protagonist. is it on Xbox? I'm surprised it's not on Xbox. Are you sure? I'm surprised they wouldn't have converted it over to uh, consoles. It's. I think it's on the Switch. You hear that? You good for nothings? I need that money and I need it today. <coughs> you can't just raise the rent like that. At least give us a bit more time. <laughs> you two bid hack jobs. I could give you ten years and you'd never pay back that money. If you don't pay me what you owe me, well, you better just start packing your bags. You hear me? You'll be out. What are you looking at? Out of my way. <laughs> Throw the children off to the side. <laughs> Hi, Josie. You love the art? Yeah, I love the art in this too. Never fear, my friends. I have returned. And look who I brought! <laughs> John and Sam to the rescue. It's over already. We're finished. No ifs, ands, or buts. We don't pull off a miracle tonight, and we're out of here. Better to start thinking about what we'll do after we leave. Go? But you guys can't go. Then I'll never be able to eat your ice cream again. Sorry, little bun. It's not like we want to go. I must admit, had we known this would be the conclusion... Perhaps we never would have come to this city at all. Quiet, all of you. What kind of performer abandons their own audience? Jasper's got a point. I kind of agree. I mean it. How can we just abandon our audience, huh? But... So what are we waiting for? Let's practice like the Dickens. Then show the city just what the Fantasia train is made of. Let's do it! Their worry isn't unwarranted. If we open tonight's show in our current state, it will be nothing short of a disastrous disaster. You must help us. There must be something we could do. Serve King Crab. <laughs> Ratson is an appropriate name. Seems about it. Old Whisker Face sure got his whiskers in a twist this time. Heh. <laughs> what do you expect? Where cheese goes, rats follow. Only in this case, the cheese is cold hard cash. You get a saying for everything, don't you? Does this mean the troops gonna have to leave? Hard to say. Well, whatever. Let's go play Earthborn. <laughs> We're done. Let's go play Earthborn. We've got a lot of memories here. Too many, you might ask. It makes it hard to leave this place behind. Can I go in here? No. Hi, Bornin. Beetle Force, assemble! Earth? Wind? Fire? Why are you doing this? No, 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 again from the top! <laughs> Excuse me. Is there any way perhaps I could be of help? Huh? Oh, it's just you, Jiang. What, don't tell me you want to join, do you? I'm, um, not quite sure that would work. Perhaps if we got her a change of attire, you know, to, uh, exaggerate things a little. A brilliant idea. Yeah, but where were we gonna get something like that? We don't even got money to put food on the table. Ho, ho, ho. I've got just the ticket, the perfect costume. On the second floor of the coin palace, you'll find some, heh, <laughs> paraphernalia. You two don't think you can go grab it for us, do you? If you're so familiar with this paraphernalia, paraphernalia, you should have made coffee. I'm just having coffee. Why not fetch it yourself? Coffee. 
Yeah, I have my reasons, you know. Besides, we've got to practice, right, boys? Didn't you just go there the other day, though? Maybe he was looking for a costume for Jiang. No, no, no. The way I remember, he was going to meet some woman. What was her name again? That woman behind the counter? Uh, Lily, was it? That's right, Lily. How did things go with her anyway? <clears throat> Would you two shut up already? Anyway, it's a simple job. You guys should be fine. You'll find the stuff on the second floor of the coin palace. Should be three pieces total. You can't miss them. Just leave it to us. I don't... Why? Why us? The troops in trouble? Guess it's gonna be getting even quieter around here. Oh, there it is. Three tokens. This costume they're talking about, I hope it helps. I just really want to help everyone. Wasn't she the artist from before? Like the one that's just been painting on the uh, sidewalk outside? Well, hey there. Care to listen to the ramblings of an old musclehead? I'm this troop's all-star pitcher, you know. Why would a circus troupe need a pitcher? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> My fastball is one of the most popular acts, you know. Throw it again, Cage. Raging Cage, the star shooter. That's what they called me. Couldn't get enough of my white and red streaks. <laughs> like, then our business and our audience began to wane. I found myself pitching less and less, to the point where I was losing my touch. A rusty pitcher. Could it get much worse? But what could I do? I didn't have anyone to practice with. My fastball's just too, well, fast. John, why don't you give it a try, huh? You could help him. Give what a try. You think you've got what it takes to hit my fastball? Oh, it's coming to Xbox. It just hasn't been announced. Well, I'll be. Someone finally willing to go up against my fastball. Then, let's get things fired up. Oh, no. Holy crap! Damn it, I have to do it when his arm moves. Shit. Fucking hell. Wowee, I caught it. This feeling, this feeling. It's like all the passion, all that pan-fried pizzazz passed straight into my palm. <laughs> That's the stuff. That's the feeling I've been missing. The crowds will be shouting my name again tonight. I see all. I know all. Your human problems are but the f... f Fugacious twinges of a passing itch to me. Now then, what can I help you with? Hark, that which you seek calls out in the night. Lo, they await, shrouded in many a darkened room. Release them from their coils and return them to their rightful queen. Okay, what about the other one? What can I help you with? The clown act. What clown act? To win, to lose, such is the difference between mirth and tears. Oh, the earth clown act's below us. What about you? I ever tell you, man, I'm actually the driver here. But lately it seems more and more like we're getting forced out. I miss the sweet lightning at lightning max the most. But hey, man, I guess I'd actually have something to do then. Why do you look so sad? Mine is a tale of woe, I'm afraid. The name's Dorcas. And I'm Malorcus. Yes, there's combat. No one asked you. I'm a clown here in the troop. As if that weren't obvious. I used to have an act called Boxes of Fright. Fright is right. Those creepy dolls you had popping out of the boxes were enough to haunt kids' dreams. You should have seen all the complaints we got from parents. 
That's why I'm changing it. Yes, I have a new act now. A real showstopper. I call it the slight is right. More like the slight is wrong. Where this guy is concerned, his hands are as slow as molasses. Even a baby would be able to see through the awkward mess he calls an act. I don't need to hear that from you. <laughs> and yet, I know he's right. My hands just aren't nimble enough to pull off the trick. Let me see. Maybe I could do something to help. Really? You watch my act? Oh, joy of joys. Don't be too harsh on him. His pride's as brittle as an eggshell. Here it goes. Not too hard to this point, right? Now, watch this. Head already a jumble, is it? But wait, there's more. Where do you think the ball is? Is that your final answer? Are you absolutely completely sure? Oh, well, you were right. It's true, I really am awful at this. My hands are just too slow. Maybe I should just give up. Oh well, thanks for trying to help. Feel free to come back anytime. I'm always here. What did she say about them? I don't feel like we should lie to him because I feel like he's just gonna be a mess. Ugh. I could have to go to the coin palace to get that costume, but what do I do about them? Oh. No. I have, I, I don't, I only have one free spot. Don't be too harsh on him. Um. Let's just make him happy. All right, watch carefully now. I won't hold back this time. Don't be too harsh on him. His pride's as brittle as an eggshell. I think we need to, like, lie or something. Here it goes. Whoa. Not too hard at this point, right? Now watch this. Whoa. <laughs> Head already a jumble, is it? But wait, there's more. Wow. Now, where do you think the ball is? Wrong! Ha ha ha! I did it! I really did it! Maybe I'm not horrible at this. I'll even give you a chance to try again. Here it goes. Is that your final answer? Maybe not. <clears throat> Should I just keep lying? Wrong! Ha 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 ha! I did it! I really did it! Maybe I'm not horrible at this. Thank you. Truly, I feel on top of the world right now. When my hands feel positively electric, I could fool anyone. <clears throat> He's a mess. He is just an absolute mess. Um, have I found all the, the statues of those little freaky ghost things? Prob I mean, I no, I haven't, but... I don't really know where the others are. This is not where I wanted to be, but okay. Da, da, da. Beautiful. The artwork in this is so fantastic. The characters are great. You just now got a Twitch notification. Yeah, Twitch is really a mess today. Welcome back. Hi, Dooms. Thank you for the resub. <laughs> Have you heard the, that good for nothing troop is finally packing up shop? Good riddance. I never liked them, anyways. Besides, now the park can finally return to the way it was before. Everyone's off for the dragon market. Not to worry, though, they'll be back soon enough. No one can resist the tantalizing melody of coin for long. So, the coin palace is essentially just 
a gambling den. People are a lot more keen on remembering the times they won money, but when they lose money, they just hang their heads and walk away. Save your memories. Stupid philosophical refrigerators. Um, no. Can't say I don't regret taking up this job at the Coin Palace. All day I gotta put up with this house of hopeless losers. That Lee, though. Huh. Quite the passion in that one. I mean, I kinda like it. Another bus, but that's okay. Keep him coming. Who is she talking about? Which one's Lee? What's that? You're looking for some kind of queen's costume? Doesn't sound like something a kid like you should be looking for. At any rate, you probably have to look upstairs for something like that. Look, it's your favorite machine, Sam. Are you allowed to even touch it anymore? <laughs> uh, this way. Uh, they said the dark rooms. It's relatively simple. This mask can be must be part of the costume. Just two pieces less, but they gotta be around here somewhere. This is a really easy. What a pretty wig. Just one piece left. This is like really easy. I'm just walking. <gasps> not that one. I thought it was going to be four rooms. It's got to be this whip. Whip? Obtain Battle Queen costume. Oh no. That's all. Oh, all the pieces of the costume. Come on, John. Let's head back. Wait, a whip? like fantasy sex rooms <laughs> oh my god so we are supposed to be I think we have we either have three or five courses of meals we are supposed to be satisfying the gourmand taste of the owner of the coin palace because he insists that there's something about us that reminds him of a prophecy about some sort of hero but according to the prophecy the hero is supposed to be a master chef which yes it's as weird as it sounds but this game has been absolutely fantastic on that level um i've already been back there I gotta go up here and to the left I don't know if we're going to see combat in this playthrough. So combat, anyone who hasn't seen it, kind of plays a little bit like Zelda in a way. Um, John has a few different weapons. In particular, he has his frying pan, a gun, and a flamethrower at the moment. And there's a fourth one. I don't know what it is. He also has bombs he can drop. Um, frying pan, I currently have at level one. I've upgraded the gun once. Um, he's the one with all the weapons. Sam has this ability... To throw out like a light orb that stuns people and we don't know where the hell the ability comes from but uh yeah <laughs> do i like xcom um i've played it a bit i do enjoy some aspects of it ho ho you folks did it i knew asking you to do this was the right choice this this is what you want me to wear but it's a bit um embarrassing don't you think now you say it's embarrassing, but these kind of folks went all the way to the coin palace to get it for you. You were the one who wanted to help. <laughs> Truly, these delicate garments would weep at losing the chance to adorn your form, my lady. Uh, okay. Just, uh, give me a, a moment, please. <laughs> Bow before me, maggots! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. 
on your knees. Th this is brilliant. <laughs> Did I say you could speak warm? I am the Beetle Queen. I can't thank you enough for retrieving this costume for me. Yes, perhaps some sort of reward is in order. Oh, no need to worry. It won't be anything too painful. Just leave tonight's performance to me. The men in this city won't know what hit them. Yes, ready your stakes, boys, because tonight the tent shall rise. Wow, who knew Jiang was so eloquent? <laughs> who is this Jiang you speak of? I am the Beetle Queen. How utterly splendid. I knew you two would pull through. Tonight's carnival is going to be a smashing success, I just know it. However, there is one thing we still need you to do. Yes, a job of utmost importance. An important job? What is it, huh? What is it? Sell tickets. Welcome! Are we just the door greeters? <laughs> Welcome! You gotta smile, son. Smile. John doesn't do anything. Welcome! <laughs> Look how excited Sam is to be doing this. Hey, it's the little robot. <laughs> Welcome, welcome! Welcome! Ah, it's Mung. Well, if it isn't Her Majesty's little pea, you going to the carnival too? Nah, have to work. Aren't you responsible? Oh, good luck with that. Hey, look, it's Lucy. Welcome! <laughs> And now, taking the stage, Kitty, the ferocious jungle cat, and her tra trainer, El Tigre. Tigre. Can we go watch now? Can't. Gotta work. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, hello there. Welcome for the... Uh, welcome to Harris, Sunny. Healer for the circus? No, 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 no. Weird kid. And now the fastest arm this side of the dam, the steel-armed wonder raging Cage Olsen. Shh. I want to watch. You gotta work. But it's so boring. Can I just watch for a bit? Yeah, shit's going down. Ah, John, our crab pot. Yeah, burned. Overcooked. How disappointing. If they'd actually been able to recreate that crab pot, <laughs> I might have actually been forced to throw in the towel. It seems Lady Luck is on my side. <laughs> Lily's not gonna know what hit him. He'd never in a million years expect that John could make this his beloved damn crab pot. Yeah, except it burned. Lovely. Here comes my migraine. Wait, is that a cigar I smell? Lily's already here. Back with coffee? Nice. You haven't touched anything, have you? If you've sabotaged all of John's hard work... Oh, you've done a far better job at that than I ever could. Hey, you can't just walk out of here. This is the, the big damn crab pot, your favorite. Yes, yes, and let me just ask you one thing, will you? What's the most vital thing to remember for a successful crab pot? Why, just the right amount of time in the pot, of course. Oh, no. <laughs> I've seen enough, though I am a bit hungry for some crab now. I'll need to have my chef cook me a replacement. Because John and Sam are always getting distracted by other stuff whenever they're doing anything. Lee! 
you have one chance left. Okay, so it was three dishes. Something's got happening at the carnival. Are you even taking this seriously? You've yet to produce even a single dish I can actually eat. If you had time to go play around at the circus, why not put those heads to good use and actually think up something good? Next time! Next time you're going down! Come on, John, let's head back inside. We could still, uh, eat this, right? If you don't have any taste buds, maybe. But it was only barely overcooked. It can't be that bad. Do you not remember the time you ate those mushrooms? Playing around at the circus? Ha! Huh? Who does he think he is, huh? We weren't playing around. Huh? What? What's that smell? Smell? You mean the crab pot? I is this John's crab pot? How did it turn out so... 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 You didn't add something weird to it, did you? Hey! My cooking isn't that bad. Mm. <laughs> uh, it's just overcooked. These crabs are a little, um, delicate. It's really easy to overcook them. I guess we'll have to try again tomorrow, then. I wouldn't if I were you. If I know Lee, he's already gorging himself on Crab Pot right now. And without that spark of pure, unadulterated, childlike surprise, I just don't know if it'll have the same effect. But then what are we going to do? What are you waiting for? Just knock. But, but, but this is the princess's house. Who is it? But we're here to see John and Sam. C -c Could we come inside? Of course you may. Just uh, don't let the smell bowl you over. Ah, it's you guys. Holy wowza, this is the princess's house? It's ginormous. Huh? And everyone from the troop is here too. Somebody slapped me with a dead fish. What is that smell? I'm having visions of Jasper's socks. Oh, that's just our crab pot. Uh, um, slightly overcooked crab pot. Did the nothing end up happening at the carnival? Oh, thank God. I thought the princess's house would be pink. Yeah, and smell like cookies and fairy dust or something. <laughs> Quiet! No one wants your pitiable pr appraisal. The show! How did the show go? It was... A booming success! It was? Oh gosh, oh wow! Then that means you guys can stay, right? You don't have to leave! Indeed. Which just leaves your little problem. Our little problem? Yes, Jasper already filled us in. He said the two of you have gotten yourselves embroiled in a little wager with Lee. You folks sure got balls of steels going up against THE Lee. Only New Dam City's most curatastic crime lord. A real son of a snake, that one. At any rate, it seemed like the perfect time for our troop to step in and save the day. Lily's not really that bad. So, so cute. Lily's not really that bad. <laughs> you could say the same for her bo uh, body, then. <laughs> But what I mean to say was, uh, gifts. We brought gifts. Gifts to help you wipe that smug grin off Lee Lee's face. You mean, all of this is for us? Holy cow, this is amazing! Is this snow playing cactus? Wow, I've never seen this in the flesh before. Stupendous. The princess has such a keen intuition. And is this cheese? It looks a little weird. It's a cheese from my hometown, but not just any cheese. This is hard rock cheese. And these are called Fright Shrooms. They're so good, they'll give you a fright. Ha 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 ha! Just... What? No good? They look like normal mushrooms. This... This... This is amazing! Now we're gonna win for sure! Quick, John, we gotta get cooking! It smells so good! 
It certainly looks more appetizing than our previous attempts. But I still can't help but feel that we're missing that yes factor, that ultimate clincher. I found them! I found them! Huh? It's Jasper. Allow me to introduce the great, the brilliant, William the Merchant. Oh, and his assistant, Daniel. Oh, it's them again. We meet again. You guys know each other? We first met on board Charon. We also gave them the glazy berries yesterday. Charon was the train that they rode in on. That's not suspicious at all. D don't worry, we're not trying to trick you this time. Let me do the talking, please. After hearing that our mag mag magnanimous benefactors found themselves in a crisis, we thought it only right that to offer a recompense of sorts. And the suspicion grows. <laughs> Let's just hear what they have to say. Jeez. <laughs> have you fine ladies ever heard of Quake Valley? You mean the dump? Yes, yes, it has developed that in alias, as it were. There's a lot of uh, earthquakes there. Welcome back. <gasps> back and fix in! Hi, thank you for 32 months! Thank you for the resub! How are you? <laughs> it's not just any quakes, you see. If my intel is correct, those quakes are caused by a rather rambunctious creature known as the Trampler Fish. Yeah, but that thing's not edible. An astute observation, my dear princess. I see you've done some research on your own of your own. <laughs> well, mostly thanks to Izzy. But have any of you ever given any thought as to why that fish causes its tr tremulous trembles? We're still not really sure. Maybe it's got an itch. And, 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 and because it doesn't have any hands, it can't scratch it. An excellent hypothesis, Sam. You may be a scientist yet, but a flawed conclusion, I'm afraid. No, the reasoning behind this is a bit more gluttonous. Did you know the fish are quite sensitive when it comes to earthquakes? Even the slightest tremor will send them hopping and skipping atop the water's surface. Yeah, but what does that have to do with anything? It has everything to do with everything. For you see, our gourmandizing friend uses these quakes to dine on its piscine brethren. What a smart fish. Indeed. But what's next is key to this whole affair. The bulk of this fish's diet, you see, consists of a fish so delicate, so delectable, so dreamy. Why, you'd never want to partake of any other fish again. The Golden Valley Snapper. Yeah, 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 we know all that. That thing's basically prima when it comes to gourmet cuisine. The G Golden Valley Snapper smells like the lilies and tastes as sweet as honey. It's a flesh that has a tantalizing texture that dances in your mouth. And then not only that, it's full of nutrients, too. It's the cream of the crop when it comes to fish. Quakes Valley's diamond in the rough. This fish sounds amazing! <laughs> the only problem is it's very crafty. You can't catch it like the normal fish. Only the Tchembler fish has ever been able to catch it. Putting two and two together, then, it would seem our task is simple. If we find the Tembler fish, we find our snapper. Wait just a minute here. Who said we'd agree to any of this yet? Yeah, why are they telling us this? You're just vibing, little wine hungover? <laughs> this is the weekend for that. Of course, whether you choose to set forth on this venture is completely up to you. Yet I cannot be the only one thinking that what your choices are, shall we say, limited. I've got to admit, I've got a pretty fierce hankering for Snapper now. <laughs> I've always wanted to give that golden fish friend a try. And, and, Quake Valley sounds like a super cool place. Marvelous, marvelous. Then it seems you've already made your decision. Shall we meet, say, tomorrow morning at the big station? I do hope you all have a wonderful night's sleep. Sweet dreams. I'm still, like, wondering what's with the kid that went to the carnival. Ooh, are we on the next chapter? The kid going to that carnival, like, really worries me. Something's wrong with that.
John, you're finally up. We've got to get going pronto. Daniel and Wilma William are already waiting for us at the big station. Full of things that you thought would last forever, but are gone within an hour of dinner. I'm getting, like, chills. I really don't want anything to happen to this place. How many... I have four of those big chips. That allows me to upgrade the gun to level three if I really want to. But at the same time, I kind of wish I would save... I want to upgrade the, um, the frying pan. I really want to upgrade the frying pan. Now, when they're talking about the big station, are they talking about up here or... Oh down so for thanksgiving dinner i put together the entire dinner and it came out absolutely fantastic um um it was definitely a hit i had also looked up because isaac's dad and his stepmom um love cocktails i looked up um oh earthborn we don't need to play it, but just so you see what it's like. It's basically a game within a game, but it's an RPG. And it saves wherever you were. But for some reason, everyone in this world is in absolute love with this game. But anyways, what I was saying is there's, um... Here, we'll, we'll quit out of this. Um, there was a cocktail recipe I ended up looking up and finding, and I think we already talked to this one. Yeah, we did. And it was, what is it? It was bourbon, sweet vermouth, orange juice, 100% unsweetened cranberry juice, and simple syrup. And it came out so good. It was one of the few times that Isaac actually wanted to have a cocktail. Which is why he ended up being hungover on Friday. Because he doesn't drink, and it was a bit much for him. Where am I going here? Over there. I could have just... I could have just taken the subway, but at least this way I get some stuff. Yeah. Might as well just do it that way. ran out of energy. That's fine. That cocktail sounds good. It was fantastic. It was so good. And the thing was, it, um, it kind of had a really holiday, like, vibe to it and flavor. It was really, really good. And I, I was looking for Thanksgiving-inspired cocktails online when I found the recipe for it, but I was trying not to find something that was going to be overly involved in making it, because I kept finding, like, pumpkin cocktails that was like, use pumpkin puree, and I was like, that's just too much extra work. And it wasn't something I wanted to do. Come here. Ugh. Yeah, no, the, the cocktail was fantastic. I, 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 I loved it. We have a whole bunch of um, stuff left to make more of it, so I might make another little batch of it tonight. I, you're some, I mean, it's, it's a cocktail. You're Technically, you're supposed to make it around when you're going to use it. 
I, I made one batch of it, which um, is basically worth about eight versions of the drink. And I pre-bottled it in the same containers I used to put my coffee in for the fridge. Um, that way, when they came over on Thursday, I was just able to bust it out. I had it made like an hour ahead of time. Uh, I'm not going to read that again because we've read this one a few times. I'm going to hit these just in case there's something. Ooh, hearts. So, right trigger essentially swaps between the two of them, and they swap very quickly back and forth. If you press B, you can leave one behind, which is kind of essential for certain puzzles. Um, in case you hadn't seen the game before. But it's it's really, really, really good. There, as, you, as you've been seeing, if you've been here throughout the entire stream so far, the story points are really, really big and long, but they're really good. I said this way. Ho ho ho! That's the John I know, always prepared for everything. Now then, it's straight up those steps and to the right. That's where you'll find the cave leading to Quake Valley. It's no short distance, so be prepared for a walk. Not more than an oversized junkyard, that place, untouched by human hands as it's been. It's now nothing more than a breeding ground for unruly beasts. But you'll, of course, have no problem with any of that, I'm sure. No risk, no reward, or so the saying goes. Let us meet in the valley, then, shall we? The other thing to point out is this game kind of, like... It's very cute and charming and lighthearted with some amazing graphics. There are some really dark points to the story, and it's really, really well implemented. Part of the reason why I keep coming back to this and wanting to keep playing it and just see where it goes is... And I don't want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen it, who wants to see the VOD and hasn't seen that at any point, but... There was an area earlier on that did something in the story that I have always, and I know other people have complained about, is never done appropriately. This game did it right. Um, and that was saying quite a bit. Um, it, 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 the game will play with your feelings. And it will, like, just slap you in the gut. Don't you... Wait, that didn't break? Huh. Stop it. Damn it. Oh. Mmm, feelings. The story is very well crafted. Found a gear part. I don't need to... Okay, I know what these are. These... I thought you pushed them or something. Just leave it right now. Nothing. I did come in here briefly, but I never did anything. That. Ugh! Oh. Shit! Things will fuck you up in this game. Tomato found. Human refrigerator, 20 out of 32. I think I need to find like 12 more items that I'm considering. Oh, you respawn, you little bastard. Yakadon is the only one that I could eat that's 
brings you back to your feet when you can no longer fight. Damn it. Hey, it was hard. Oh, I got a... Um... Apparently the fruit pie also makes you hit harder. Okay. So we should make more fruit pie then? Defies her light. Dear Lord. This is why I want to upgrade the frying pan. Actually, give me that. Did I get a gear for... Yeah, I did. Okay, I need one more, I think, and then I can upgrade it. Possibly. <gasps> oh, thank God. Mushroom, fish, steamed peppercorn, lemon, I could always make more yakadon, dairy, eggs, and meat, I need that. Do I have any dairy? Tofu. And I need meat. Here. At least you can stunlock them? Yeah, it helps. Damn it. <laughs> you can skip it. I do it often enough, so. <sighs> Seafood. Vegetable. Fruit. Add a steamed peppercorn. I have not gotten a three in a row yet. Mmm, tofu. I do like tofu. I need to buy some more. And work. I'd like to do some more cooking with it. Oh, this is a new one. I can't just skip it. Droop fried rice. You'll never forget the first time you bit down on a giant piece of sand droop in this uh, fruity concoction. 40% energy and two minutes of a defense boost. And a plus six to your defense. Holy shit. Pretty good. Sometimes memory develop problems. When this happened to people in the past, they tried blowing in the slot or rubbing it with an eraser. <laughs> Save your memories. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that one was funny. Ooh. Yes, please. Look, John, look! It's the gate, we're here. It's also a very big area. It looks so heavy. Too heavy? Ah, yes, I believe I may have forgotten to tell you. It'll take a bit more muscle to move this mountain. If you would, Daniel. What are they wanting to get out of this? Though do try not to break anything this time. Uh, okay. 
I don't need my wrist wraps on if I'm using my controller. <laughs> Jeez. That's far enough, Daniel. Daniel! Daniel! <laughs> Is this far enough? <laughs> oh my god. Boss fight time? Very likely. Whoa, Daniel, you're a hunk. That's my... M my... Curse. Curse? Ahem. Indeed, and the reason behind her travels. But that's a long story, I'm afraid. What's more important is finding that snapper. This valley is nothing like the forest outside town. You best prepare yourself for a grueling fight or two. If it weren't for my curse, I could could be just like other c kids. Fifty salt. Yay! Now we have one thousand thirty something. There we go. I swear. bombs do I have left? Uh, I think it's eight for the bombs, and I have 11 ammo. I might as well, since he refills, call in Sonic Punk. There. Bombs replenished, and ammo refilled. Sonic Punk is a droid that we got a hold of at some point. That allows us to refill our ammo and stuff. Um, and he has a recharge, so you just use him at times. Because he's like, he should be at like, yeah, he's at 6% right now. And it's time-based. It's not um, enemy-based or anything. Oh, I found some daikon there. Because he should be... Yeah, he's 9% now. So give him enough time and he'll probably recharge before I need him again. So the only way to hit these guys... Damn it. 
damn it. That's more ammo. We'll go and get that. Ugh, two and a half hearts. God damn it, really? What is that? Lava candy. Another gear part. That's four and four. Um, I don't think there's quick travel in the game, but I am tempted to go all the way back to town right now because I can level up my weapons and I kind of want to do that. And before I do that, energy restored. I bought that at like the bar or something when I was playing as Sam and he won't let you buy anything other than stuff that's okay for kids. So it gives us two hearts, but it also has like um, an energy boost for her for that. There, that gave me a heart at least. I should probably just be stunning that. Oh, fucking hell, why did I do that? I forgot to do that. Hit this bird. Hit the bird. Hit the bird. Hearts do not drop often. So the combat is decently difficult. We will come back. It should not be hard to get back here, and it's worth it to go back and level up. I'm going to save it right here in case we go back and we find out we can't do anything. Um, save your memories, yes. I also want to keep uh, tabs on the time because I do want to play some Stardew Valley at some point. Oh, shit. Yeah, I need to upgrade this thing. Ah, fucking hell. These guys also have a tendency to drop, like, either vegetables or spices or something. Um... This way. I can take the train back instead of walking all the way back like I did last time. Peppercorn. Give me money. Salt. Whatever. <clears throat> Up and over is not an option. Uh, hearts? Hearts? No hearts. Let's go this way. The big station. Welcome to New Jam City subway service. Where would you like to go? Uh, New Jam City. Please wait on the platform. Can I just go to the... The 
hot spa and like level and like heal or something? I don't remember. There doesn't seem to be, I don't know if there's a place I can go just to heal without just buying food. Which is another thing, considering I have more salt, I could probably just go and go to the store and just buy some more ingredients for stuff so I don't run out. Alright. But let's do the frying pan first. I think we can upgrade the frying pan this way. Is it... This one? I think it's him. Johnny's Emporium. You saw that, huh? Another short circuit. So you'll have to forgive me if I'm a little short with you two. Flame upgrade, gun upgrade, bomb upgrade. I guess not. Upgrade for bombs. Flame upgrade. Immediately restock your bombs and your ammo. I don't really have much. Um, let's just upgrade the flame and the gun then. Flame upgrade is uh, it's upgraded and is now more powerful. Here, gun upgrade. Yes! New gun upgrade! Bang bang gun upgraded, it's now more powerful. Bomb expansion, ammo expansion would be nice. Definitely don't have that though. I don't know where you upgrade the frying pan then. Um, you can go in here, but I don't remember if there's what she has. What was that, Quake Valley? Uh, you're talking about that old landfill. The nice young man with the purple hull just mentioned it the other day. Seems he and his dear robot are fit to make a trip. Pudding. For three. Does not seem like much. All right, let's see if the grocer has something and then we'll go back. I think it's this guy. There's another, pl okay, so the station's, the station's the one there on the left. What, that's the princesses. What is this green one here? Friendly Spendy at your service. Backpack expansion for 250, so I can get more healing items. Bubble tea. Steam peppercorns. I have eight of those. Thanks for dropping by. Maybe I should just like get more eggs for the Oyakudan because it's just so good. for dropping by. I think this other guy is just... Because he had the king crabs. I think he just has seafood. What? You're overstewed? Kakor, blimey. Oh, he's angry we overstewed the crab. Ye overstew her and she'll lose all her flavor. Suppose there ain't nothing to what ye can do now. You here to make an order then, hearties? have three of those. Here, get another one of those. Grab another crab. Money, status, fame, laughter, tears, song. All of these exist along with the path of your memories. Save your memories? Yes. Let's go. Alright, let's go back. I mean, I didn't get to upgrade the frying pan, which makes me sad, but the gun's upgraded. And so is the flamethrower, which I'm not really using, but maybe I should just start using them. Ugh, freaking hell, I forgot it's him. 
Good day, welcome to the new damn city subway service. Where would you like to go? Uh, the big station. Please wait on the platform. I like how the lights all go up and... in, uh, green. There we go. Alright. Up and over. Hopefully we'll get more hearts on the way. I doubt it. But it would be nice. Where am I going? To the right? Right. Those guys to the left. Ow. Stop it. Stop it. Ow. God damn it. Why am I sucking at this? Ugh. Gun is really close range. Onion found. I have two hearts left again. Hey, heart. Another heart. Woo! That makes me happy. Give me more hearts, damn it. Stop it. Damn it. Why did I turn around? I could just change using the um, D-pad. Gun is to the right. Alright. Six hearts and three. I mean, that's exactly what we need. Alright, so let's do meat, egg. Do I have any other dairy? We're gonna put in this one. Well, two is good. Better than nothing. Ooh, increased defense. Alright. Do I have, like, hold on. Recipe. Do I have, like, a salad ingredients? Vegetable stir fry. Seafood and vegetable. Do I have meat and vegetable yet? Crab. Fruit. Sand root. I don't. Let's do meat and vegetable. Meat. Vegetable. Even though I used a chicken. 
wait, did I already have pork chop in here? I did. Meat and vegetable. What is wrong with me? What about meat and fruit? I don't have room for anything else. Alright, this is a pretty good, um, setup with my health and everything. Save your memories, yes. I can go a little bit longer with this and nah. Let's stop 